Hey guys. Hey guys. Today we're making a video about how much we've spent traveling around Europe, living in our van over the last six months. We've done over 10,000 kilometers and visited 13 countries. So this is the total of what we spent, two humans and two dogs. One of which is here, the other one's causing trouble somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we've kept all of the receipts from everything and we keep them in a little netted bag as you come in the van. If we don't get a receipt from somewhere, we just make a note of it and make the date and shove that in there too. And then at the end of each week or whatever we think about it, we write everything down in this little book here so we know exactly what we've spent. Okay, let's get right into it. So we'll start with the biggest expenditure per month down to the least. So the top of the list for us is groceries. Now this includes everything, all your food items, all the toiletries, dog food, cleaning products, everything. And the total of this per month is 245 euros and 93 cents. And that would probably be a lot more if I had my way, but Sarah does most of the cooking, so she does most of the shopping. I managed to sneak in a few. Things naughty which things. are yeah, naughty but nice. We get naughty to the checkout nice. and I'm like, um, I don't think this is ours. Probably about 50% of that is on dog food and dog treats. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> so number two on the list is, as you might imagine, petrol, gasoline, diesel, whatever you put in your, your vehicle. Now we slow travel. We don't like to rush through countries. We like to sort of take it all in and so we don't move that quickly. So the total of this per month is 148 euros, 27 cents. So this will vary a lot depending on the countries you're visiting because the price does vary quite considerably but we'll talk about that in another video. Next on the list is eating and drinking out. 66 euros and 70 cents a month. We don't eat out that often. We kind of use eating and drinking out as like a treat and then... Shouldn't be abused, should be a treat. We don't abuse it, well... Well there was that time in, in Prague and Krakow and couple of cities. <laughs> Yeah. You don't eat out all the time, you just go out every now and then, and then you enjoy it. So next down on the list is activities or experiences, 33, 33. We do feel that the best things in life yeah. are free and there's so much you can do in the nature and hiking and everything else that doesn't cost anything. Mm. So we generally have stuck to that. If you did everything you wanted to do, you'd never have any money saved and you'd never have any money to travel. So you've got to pick carefully what you want to do. So next on the list for us was our gas to cook. We've also got a little blow heater and our fridge is gas. 21 euros and 36 cents per month, which we thought was okay considering we do so much cooking in the van. Yeah, this will again vary depending on the season, if you use the fridge or the heater. And depending on what setup you've got. So moving on to laundry, that came in at 13.40, but we weren't wearing dirty clothes. Sarah did a lot of hand washing, so you know, underwear and little items, just get them washed and then get them hanging outside the van just to keep you stocked up with clean clothes. Next on the list is accommodation. And what I mean by accommodation is paid campsites. 12 euros and 66 cents per month. <laughs> so we've only actually stayed on, I think two, perhaps three. This was only in big cities where we wanted to be safe and secure rather than just freedom camping. And then finally, we just grouped together the other little spends we've sort of had transport. So public transport, bus, trains, trams, parking, to all those little things, and that comes in at 7 99 a month. So in six months on the road, we spent €3,298.95. Which is pretty good, we feel, for two adults and two greedy little doggies. <laughs> and that works out per month, €549.64. And per week, €126.88. Per day, €18.12. For two people and two dogs so for one person and one dog that's nine euros and six cents basically for one hour of van life one person <laughs> and one dog it's 37 cents 37 cents for one hour per second that no i'm joking <laughs> that's it where we stop <laughs> so these totals just include day-to-day -day spendings on the road so you know we haven't included 
sorting out your vehicle, getting your MOT, your insurance, your road tax, all that sort of thing, your health insurance, your travel insurance, all these things because they vary for different people. We also have an included internet. We do have an internet contract at home, but we also picked up a lot of local SIM cards which worked out really good value for money on the road. Our internet usage is very high because of our channel, so a normal person would be a lot less. So that's something else that you would have to add on to these totals. Okay, we also haven't included any money for mechanical faults or going to a garage. We've been really lucky, touch wood, over the last <laughs> six months and we've only had to go to the mechanics once and that was just to change the brake shoes and that was 50 euros. We have been lucky but it's always best to have some savings put aside because you never know what's going to happen. You've got to be prepared. You don't want to be stranded somewhere miles from home. So put a bit of money aside just in case something goes wrong. And one last thing we haven't included is any souvenirs that you might want to buy or appliances. For example, we had to buy a new fan because ours broke halfway through the trip. We bought a pair, one pair of sandals. So anything like that we haven't included either. So if you want to buy souvenirs or new clothes, you will need some extra money. To summarise everything up, we think that the amount of money that we've spent over the last six months whilst travelling around is very good. We did expect to spend a little bit more, so we are really happy with this. We have been careful, but no more careful than what we are back at home, hence the reason we do have this lifestyle at the moment. It, for us, it was quite easy to budget this way. But we've had a fantastic time, and obviously there's other things we'd have liked to have done, but isn't there always? You know, we've had an awesome time in six months and the amount of money we've spent, it's pretty good. And the best things in life are free. So true. That's it then, I hope you found this useful. Compare it to how much you spent on the road or if you're about to start your trip and your big adventure, then it gives you some idea of how, how much you'll need. Yeah, how little you can do it with as well. Yeah. So if you've got any questions about what we've just talked about here, pop them in the comments and we'll try our best to answer them and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give us a thumbs up and hit that like button below. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, then please do and keep the comments coming because we absolutely love to hear from you. And we'll see you in the next video.